I'd been a crime reporter for about six or seven years when my sister called me and told me she just had some of her family-in-law over for lunch at her home in Newcastle. And they were from this small town called Walker on the state's northern tablelands near Armidale and Tamworth. Anyways, Tess told me that over the lunch they told her this wild story about how there was this black widow living in their town and they told her that she'd recently murdered this farmer, farmer Matthew Dunbar, um, who was a very much loved farmer in the community and part of the fabric of the community in Walker. And the most wild part about the story, Tess was saying, is that this woman had tried to kill her ex-husband and her ex-husband was a paramedic who also worked in the town of Walker. And now when she had killed the farmer, the town rumour went that the first paramedic on the scene was her ex-husband who she had tried to murder before and served time for his attempted murder. I wanted to write the book because there's not enough room in an article uh, or a magazine to, to explain um, her criminal history, the way she does things, the things she says, um, the extent of all her lies, um, and the planning that she went to um, to murder this poor, vulnerable farmer, Matthew Dunbar, uh, who was looking for love. And she knew that. She knew that he was looking for love um, and that he was the perfect target for her. Basically, this has been the story of my career. Um, as a crime reporter, I've worked, um, I actually started out working as an agricultural reporter for The Land, um, then the Sydney Morning Herald, The Daily Telegraph and Nine News. And I think this is one of those stories. I think everyone has one of these stories in their careers and, and this is my story. Um, I've never come across anything like it and uh, I don't think I ever will.